بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم My topic today is about lung contusion with some examples on the blanched X-ray and CT scan. Lung, lung contusion results from traumatic extravasation of the blood and accumulation of edema in the pulmonary interstitium and air spaces as a result of disruption of alveolar capillary integrity, but without significant disruption of the pulmonary bronchima. The injury is caused by energy transmitted directly to the lung from an impact to overlying chest wall. Chest X-ray findings appears, appears as patchy area of consolidation. When the contusion is extensive, the radiograph may show the diffuse dense homogeneous lung consolidation. That area of consolidation or obesity, it is not confined to anatomic level of virus segment of, or lobes or fissures, which may be difficult to definitely ascertain on an initial chest X-ray. Complication of pulmonary contusion include pneumonia, pulmonary hemorrhage, hematoma, and automatic pulmonary pseudocyst formation. Pneumonia is usually, usually relatively late complication and it is associated with the usual clinical signs of pulmonary infection. The final complication of the pulmonary contusion is the development of single or multiple thin walled air filled spaces within the area of pulmonary contusion referred to as post pneumatic pneumatocyst or traumatic pseudocysts. The importance, important aspect of traumatic pseudocyst are that although they usually occur for two to five days after the closed chest trauma and they may rarely be present on the initial chest X-ray, they resolve spontaneously and don't require extensive workup and don't require surgical intervention. Here we have chest X-ray, AB view, it is so bind, and we have obesity, airspace shadowing, and obesity involving more on the right upper, zone, upper mid zone and lesser extent to the left mid zone due to pulmonary contusion. And we have also here probably a pneumothorax with deep sulcus sign. Here, another patient with uh, lung contusion, patchy white area of uh, involving the mid lower zones. As we know that the aspiration of pulmonary hemorrhage are in differential diagnosis, but the CT scan will see the Contusion, it is not limited to anatomical, not confined to anatomical border and can, it is not segmental, not lobal, and can cause the fissures. Here, another patient with pulmonary contusion, more on the right side, involving most of the right lung and with lesser extent on to the left lung and associated with soft tissue swelling and surgical emphysema on the right side. 
He have extensive severe pulmonary contusion involving the left uh, lung. And left lung and possible on the, on the right lung here. Here, another patient with area of uh, consolidation and obesity involving the left hemithorax due to lung contusion. Here, another patient, mottled area involving both lungs, more to the right lung, more to the right side, and it's, it is distributed more peripherally than centrally. And uh, areas of consolidation here, especially, it is more typical for pulmonary contusion rather than the consolidation. Here, another patient with a motor vehicle accident and we have uh, contusion on the right lung with soft tissue swelling on the right chest wall. Here, the same patient before three days and the contusion is seen on the left above zone and, and the, after three days the contusion it is cleared. Here, another patient with uh, a clear, the same patient, a clear contusion on the right side, on the left side, and on the right side. What are the appearance of lung contusion on CT scan? CT scan can usually detect pulmonary contusion immediately after injury. Contusion usually resolves in a few days. CT may show area of consolidation often directly beneath the site of injury in non-segmental distribution and often sparing one to two millimeter of the subpleural lung parenchyma. And this is a very important and diagnostic. The obesities may be single or multiple and both involving both COB and contra co contra contusion may be identified. Contusion may be seen surrounding the pulmonary laceration. Here this patient with lung contusion here on the lung contusion on the right side and mediastinal hematoma and pseudoaneurysm of the descending aorta as we see in the 3D reconstructed images. Image. And here the same patient after stent, stent graft placement for treatment of the pseudoaneurysm. And patient with lung contusion and we see peripheral involvement and sparing one to two millimeter of the subpleural area and this is diagnostic and this is a magnified view with involving of the subpleural space subpleural space and sparing the about one to two to two millimeter behind it. Here another patient with coronal image demonstrate extent lung contusion, extensive lung contusion with sparing one to two millimeter subpleural space. And you see the contusion area, it is in the periphery rather than centrally also seen on the right side.
Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.